Hello, hello. What's up, Pisces? Happy birthday. Happy birthday to my March Pisces. Ooh, it's on and popping, baby. Happy birthday to my daddy. Today, my dad's birthday. God bless him. I wish him all of the best. Surrounded by love and happiness, as I wish you guys also. Spirit ancestors, angel guides, you are welcome into the room for a general Pisces read. <laughs> to my subscribers, welcome back, babies. <clears throat> to those of you who are not are new to my channel, <laughs> I'm getting tongue twisted. I don't understand. Uh, welcome, welcome. I am Lee. I will be bringing you the tea, baby. I keep it real. It might get a little raw and reckless up in here, but my intention is never to hurt your feelings. Okay, babies? So take what's for you, what's not for you, you leave it behind. We're going to start with the Shadow and Light Oracles for our Pisces. Let's see, let's see what we get here. Strangely lonely, baby. Hmm. Holding on way too tight. Okay. Holding on way too tight. Her eyes are vicious. Voodoo and blue. Back off. Mm. She said, I dare you. For some of you, you may be holding on too tightly to a loss. Um, for some of you, you may be um, uh, being stingy with your time, with your money, with your existence, baby. Okay. Um, she makes me feel like she's guarded. For some of you, it makes me feel like, like, I dare you. I don't know, Pisces. What is that all about, Pisces? What is that all about? Let's see what's in your heart space, baby. Okay, lingering in the shadows. It's holding on way too tight, baby. Uh, for some of you, you may be pushing people away. Okay, or people may be afraid to approach you. You may be looking a little unapproachable. Okie dokie, moving on, spirit ancestors, angel guys, picking up the energy for my, for my Pisces, somebody's tongue twisted, somebody don't know how to approach you, baby, okay, like, at all, like, I couldn't even, like, say my introduction without feeling tongue-tied somehow, okay, so let's go, let's go, integrity. Yes, you demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with every action. Absolutely, baby. Living in your integrity. Living in integrity. Moving with integrity. Okay, speaking your truth, even if you know that it will hurt someone's feelings. Um, standing in your truth regardless of who feel what. Okay, it feels really like you are, like, looking at people like, I dare you. Like, if you don't want to hear the truth, then don't ask Pisces. If you don't want to get the hardcore response, then don't go towards Pisces. You're feeling real guarded, baby. Priorities. You understand the paramount importance of manifestation. Manifesting love in all situations. Okay, so you just may not be up for nobody's bullshit. You may just be feeling like um, your priorities come first. And if whoever, whatever situation isn't a priority, then it don't have shit to do with you. Okay? Like, not my circus, not my monkeys. Okay. Let's be over here. Believe in your own magical oracle deck by Amanda Lovelace. Can we get one spirit ancestors, angel guides for our Pisces, picking up on the energy of our Pisces? What do they need to know? What do they need to hear? Remember to practice self love. Okay, um, 
Don't seek anyone's approval or expectations. Yes, yes. But I feel like that's where you at with it. Okay, I feel like, um, like if it doesn't concern you, you don't want no parts. If is it if it isn't bringing you happiness, you don't want no parts. If it isn't putting a smile on your face, you ain't trying to hear that shit. Okay, that's what it feel like. For those of you who, because Pisces has a way of self-sacrificing. Okay, it may be time to pull your energy back from some people that don't appreciate. Okay, um, we're moving on to what's the tea for our Pisces. You'll get three. Let's see here. Spirit ancestors. Whoa. Bad karma, groupie, and reflecting. On the bottom of the deck, we got big dick energy, baby. Boss that is stable, rich, business owner, CEO, big dick energy. Photo proof getting evidence, screenshots. Ain't shit. Her eyes are vicious. Um, it looks like you're looking at somebody like... <laughs> Hi, Pisces. Uh, maybe you see someone for exactly who they are. Okay. Maybe someone comes across. Um, spirit is saying an, an, antagonizing. Bad karma, groupie, and reflecting. Um, so for some of you, you may um, be at a time in your life where um, you're not being so welcoming. It feels like you're not being so welcoming it feels like um, you may have went through something that has um, left a stain on your soul, however that goes. Um, something that may be triggering you, something that has you lingering in your dark side. Um, for some of you, you may not be impressed. You're hard to impress. For some of you, you're hard to impress. What people say and think don't matter. What people do don't matter. If it don't got nothing to do with you, it don't matter. I mean, why not, right? It is what it is, baby. It is what it is. Let's move on into the tarot for our Pisces. Um, it looks like you have fans. Or you have... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You have people... Oh, I see it. For some of you, you have people that um, may have been wishing on your downfall. Or may have um, watched you go through a situation that amused them. don't like that Pisces for some of you you need to reflect back on these people and see them for who they really are okay these are people that while you may have been going through something you may be going through something now okay you may still be going through something you may still be holding on to something that happened that uh, other people feel is um, 
It's like they was waiting for your downfall. Like they was waiting for, like they they enjoy that something happened to you or that something happened the way it happened uh, or that something turned out the way it turned out. Um, but with the groupies in between the bad karma and the reflecting, it also makes me feel like uh, for some of you, you're working on balancing out your good, your bad, your ugly. Okay, um, it may be time to let it go, whatever happened, but also to see the people that weren't there for you or who indulged in your, in your, in your, in a time where you may have been sad, where you may have been broken down, where you were not 100% good with yourself and removing them. Okay. It says back off. So you may be doing a lot of cutting people off. For some of you, you may be coming into into an awakening. Okay, spending time alone. Eight of Wands is movement, baby. Eight of Wands is fast. Fast forward movement. For some of you, it can be a um uh travel. The Eight of Wands can be travel. We have the Emperor in reverse. And we have the Four of Wands, which you already know to me is like soul ties, okay? Soul connections, um, home, family, celebrations, um... Stability. But with this emperor in reverse, someone is being immature. Someone may be um, showing toxic behavior and it's due to fear. Okay, fear, anger, um, trying to control a situation. Um, the Emperor is Aries. You may have went, somebody trying to come back. It feels like you're holding on to the past. Can be from someone from the past, someone you shared a home with. Someone you may have thought was your 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 soulmate, um, someone you share soul connections to, someone you lost. From the Eight of Pentacles to the Seven Seven of Pentacles, there's a loss. Some type of emotional loss. Um, for some of you, you may be dealing with someone or were dealing with someone who was immature. Uh, not necessarily that they were young or anything like that, just that they was mentally immature. The way they went about things, the way they came towards you may have been immature. Okay, um, but it feels like um, for some of you, um, you may be spending a lot of time alone. Okay. We have justice in the center of the reading. Um, for some of you, this is a divorce. You may be going through a divorce, a separation. Ending of a chapter with the world. Removing yourself from situations, from people, places, and things. In order to find yourself, in order to soul search. There's a lot of soul searching out here. Um, there's a lot of alone time. Uh, reflecting back on the past. Uh, reliving it in your head.
Um, it seems like someone wants to come towards you, but they're like either taking their time or they're I always got to cross my legs and then I got to uncross my legs and then I move around a lot. I'm sorry, you guys, but it is what it is, baby. So what goes around comes around with this justice and this world, okay? Make Definitely makes me feel like what goes around comes around. Some type of truth, some type of cause and effect, baby. Uh, for some of you, you may want someone to take accountability in a situation. They may not be willing to take responsibility for a situation because their mind's not right. Their emotions are not right. They may be emotionally unavailable with the Emperor in reverse and the Knight of Cups in reverse. Um... Some of you, someone was in, easily influenced because the emperor, he takes control of a situation, right? The emperor is wise. Um, the emperor is um, strong masculine energy, okay, that gets it done, okay? Uh, someone who takes bold moves. With this Eight of Cups in reverse, it keeps making me feel like um, it may be like in and out. Like they may be in and out. They come, they go. Um, this person is really emotional, unavailable. It can be you. It definitely can be you. Okay, stepping away from the emotions. With that... Uh, strangely low lonely holding on way too tight and back off back off don't seek anyone's approval okay well the way she's sitting there it really do feel like you are in your don't give a f mood you don't give an F, okay? You don't give an F. That may be your outer, what you let off to people. But within you, inside of you, you're holding on, baby. You're holding on to something, something that happened. And you're not speaking on it, yes. This is something that was a major event in your life. That you don't want to speak about. May have been a separation of a family. Separation of a home. Um, cutting a soul tie. Which is never easy. The high priestess. She follows her own intuition. Uh, she knows more than she speaks. And then we have the son. And we have the Empress. Okay, so. There was a separation. May have been a divorce. There was a breakup of a family. Um, it was the ending of the chapter, baby. Okay, and now it's time to move on and be happy. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. The most abundant Okay, um, it's a healing energy. It's time to move in that direction, baby. We got one, two, three, four, five major arcanas with the empress on the bottom is six. Okay, so it's time to get back to yourself, baby. Okay, time to reflect, accept, 
and move toward what it is that you want that that will bring light into your life. Okay. Um, it's time to accept the things that you cannot change. We have the Empress, the High Priestess, and the Will of Fortune. Okay, it's about that time. Okay, um, I feel like you are in the right for not wanting to tell people your business, for not allowing them back into your circle, your surroundings, um, your life. Okay, um, you are right. Okay, they were getting a kick out of seeing you down and out. Okay, they're not your friends. Um, they don't have your best interests at heart. And it's time for you to turn your back and work on yourself. This is how it is on the table. Okay. Okay, so we're moving on, baby. We're moving on. Moving right along for our Pisces. Spirit, ancestors, angel guides, picking up on the energy of our Pisces. Pisces, please take a moment and subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. Please hit all so that you can be notified. Leave me some of them good vibes by pushing the like button. If any of this reading resonates with you, please don't be shy. Leave me a little message, baby. I read those, so talk to me nice. <laughs> okay, so we're moving along, baby. The Empress is um, a time where you feel um, vibrant again, okay? A time where you recognize that um, you, you, you're nurturing, you're loving, you deserve love. You're giving, you're compassionate, but it seems like a situation... You know us Pisces, okay? We nice until we not nice. We care until we don't care at all. Either we care too much or we don't care at all. Okay? Um, maybe time to get out of that, but just keep your mind focused on the fact that everybody that is in your circle or your surroundings... Um, that smile in your face are not your friends. Ace of Wands. Yes, baby. The universe is giving you the opportunity for a new beginning. For a new passionate beginning. Okay? For some of you, um, you may be creating a new beginning for yourself. With the help of the divine. Okay, honeys? Feeling inspired. Creating a spark. On top of that eight of wands. With this ace of wands. It makes me feel like um, you're almost there. You're almost to a point in your life that... You, you may just be at that point where you are realizing what's good for you and what's not good for you. You may be trying to move toward something that's going to bring you some type of, that's going to help you to feel inspired, okay? Something that's going to bring you back into the light. You may have an idea, a bright idea, okay? Um... Remember to practice self-love, baby. Move in integrity. Seven of Pentacles, something you've been working on. Okay. Um, it may not be like moving along fast. Okay. Things that are worth it, don't move along fast. It takes time. It's a process. Okay. Going through the process. It feels like you are going through the process. It feels like you're still lingering in that stress, in the depression, in, in the dark nights of the soul. 
but it's like um, it's getting lighter. We have nine, we have seven, the eight and the one, the eight and the ace made me feel like nine. So you're almost there, baby. Don't give up. Okay, you're almost there, baby. Okay, don't give up. Keep self-loving up on yourself. Keep meditating if that's what you're doing. Keep praying if that's what you're doing. Keep um, removing the people, places, and things and clutter, declutter type of, yeah, that. Okay, so that you can be able to put down the burdens. Okay, for some of you, you have a lot of responsibilities. A lot of responsibilities. You may be taking on other people's responsibilities. You may be feeling burnt out, worn out. And you may see people like they don't appreciate. They don't appreciate your self-sacrifice. They don't appreciate the time that you put in. They don't appreciate any investments that you have made. Okay? They may just not appreciate you. And it's time for you to love up on you, baby. You may need a spa day, baby. You may need a spa day. You may need to get away. You may need to fall back. And justice will be served. Okay, baby. We have a tower moment. In the center of the reading. Something that's going to happen unexpected. Some, something that's going to blow the shit out the water. The high priestess. For some of you, you may like see this shit coming. Okay, uh, you may feel it coming. You may, you may feel like you're about to snap, too. Eight of Wands again. So follow your intuition, baby. Uh, they think that they some some people uh, don't really know what you got going on. Or how to approach you. It, it really keeps making me feel like someone doesn't know how to approach you. Okay. It feels like your guard's up. Uh, this high priestess says unconscious intuition, mystery, spirituality, higher power, and inner voice. So when this situation comes about with this tower moment. Our moment is um, inevitable. Disaster, destruction, upheaval, trauma, sudden changes, and chaos. It can be you creating this this tower moment because you're sick of people's shit. High Priestess is out here twice. I think we've seen her like three times already. Let me see. No, we couldn't have because I only got two. <laughs> okay, we're moving on. Can we get three more so we can close this one out, please? Spirit ancestors, angel guides, messages for our Pisces. What do they need to know? What do they need to hear? What messages do we have for Pisces today? We have the Eight of Swords on top of the world. So you feel trapped coming out of it. You feel trapped. You may be trapped in your head, baby. You, it's like you're you're holding on tightly, okay, to um, what ha ha happened, okay? Feeling trapped, feeling restricted, helpless, powerless, imprisoned. Someone is overwhelmed. Someone's burnt out. Okay. Someone's burnt out. The hermit in reverse is loneliness, isolation, uh, antisocial attitude, rejection, returning to society. You feel like you don't want to be bothered. Feels like you don't want to be bothered. You don't want to do shit for nobody no more. Okay, um, it's 
like a loss of interest. Uh, it feels like uh, it feels like you like there's like like you just don't want to deal with people right now. It feels like you're done with the people pleasing. Let's see what signs we got. We got Leo. We got Virgo. We got Pisces. We got a uh, Knight of Cups, Masculine, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Libra. We have Aries. Okay. And Pisces. Pisces three times. Okay. You may be dealing with another Pisces or this may just be you, baby. Okay, because it feels like you don't want to deal with anyone. It feels like um, like you're sick of people's actions or the way they don't understand or appreciate you. Um, the way they not they didn't show up for you. Okay, it seems like you constantly have shown up for people. You've been there. You helped them. You talked to them. You inspired them. You held their hand. You may have even cried with them. Okay, but when it was your turn, they thought it was funny. But it feels like what goes around comes around, baby. Okay, what goes around comes around, Pisces. The Empress, the Sun, hell yeah, look at that. Yes, look at this shit. We got the Sun and the Empress. The overall energy on the bottom of the decks. The sun and the empress. Okay, so keep working on yourself, baby. Okay, the reason why they hate on you is because they can't meet you at your level if you gave them a fucking ladder. Okay? Um, I don't want to say they're beneath you, but it feels like they are. It feel it doesn't not like you're better than them, just like the way they go about things and the way you go about things, you move with integrity and they're scumbags. Okay, it feels like um Oh, I forgot about that boss daddy down there. He's sitting over there looking all cute and stuff. <laughs> So you may have forgotten, okay, about someone. You may have forgotten about someone. Okay, that, uh, got big, big energy, baby. <laughs> okay, we got the sun and the moon. We got the sun and the moon. There's a really cute little saying. Let me see what it says. It says, um, remember the love story between the sun and the moon where the sun uh, dies every night to let the moon live. I think that was the most recent one that I read. But it's more like he 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 goes down so she can shine, right? He gives her space, he gives her um her moment in the sun, in the in the in the sky. Happiness, success, optimism. Vitality, joy, confidence, and truth. Passionately moving forward. Oh, we got a lot of messages. A lot of messages. Pages, pages, pages. All three of them. Okay, there may be apologies. We got the two of cups towards the queen of cups. Offering a new beginning for a stable foundation. Ooh. And the Wheel of Fortune. It's about that time. And the Nine of Pentacles. It's about that time, baby. Uh, you may be doing some rejecting, though. With the Eight of Cups. was on oh, Right up under that. Rejecting people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So, let's see. With this boss daddy sitting over there. Let's see if someone got some kind of emotional um, 
feeling some emotions towards you, Pisces. Let's see what's in their emotional space. Okay, which you may not know about, about someone else. Maybe this boss daddy, stable, rich business owner, CEO, big, big energy, baby. I miss you. I think you forgot about someone or you haven't really thought about someone, but they've been thinking about you. Okay, they miss you. Uh, they may not know how to come toward you because it feels like you, like you, you have like a, like your guard up. Ooh, spiritual gifts, sex addictions. It feels, you, it feels like you pulled your energy away from a lot of people, maybe everybody. Okay, in order to self-reflect, in order to heal, in order for you to realize who's who and what part do they play in your life. Okay, and ending a lot of shit. For some of you, you may have lost someone to the other side. Okay, someone may have uh, moved on. Uh, but someone miss you. Someone miss your sex. Somebody miss your body, baby. We got funeral, side hustle, pregnancy. Again, I love you. A psycho, crazy ex, obsessed, and won't let go. Feelings. Feelings. Talking about feelings for our Pisces. They miss you, baby. They love you, baby. Okay, it's, it feels like someone you put an end to it. Um, they miss you. They think about you, baby. Okay. They're thinking about you. They said, what's up with Pisces? Pisces been closed off. Pisces don't want to be bothered. I miss Pisces. Pisces is single and healing. Alone, isolated, lonely, and guarded. That's, that's, that's the vibe. That's the vibe. Your ex-lover miss you and love you. Healing, wounds, improving, mending, progress. I know you may not want to hear that, but they do. <laughs> Uh, finances, money problems, work, material things, and success. Romantic feelings, falling in love, affection, happiness, and emotions. On the bottom of the deck, we had third-party interference. But what fell out was a soulmate. Twin flame, soul contract, soul connection, past lives. Storm warning, upheaval, obstacle, wrecking ball, drama. I think you're going to tell people exactly how you feel. Uh, people may not like it. For some of you, you may decide to move towards someone. Magnetic attraction, alluring, lust, irresistible, flirting. Relationship, commitment, partner, boyfriend, girlfriend. On the bottom of the deck, we got party, celebration, event, public, social gathering. This person may show up for your birthday. We have deception, shady, temptation, enemy, home, comfort, safety, belonging, shelter, new love, honeymoon phase, childlike, moving on, new beginning. Uh, moving on from heartbreak. So there's someone who missed you. They may pop back up during your birthday time. Uh, you may not be willing to. Um, I got something in my eye. I'm trying to get it out to entertain them because it's something that happened in the past the way they made you feel in the past something that you still hold on to a grudge okay let's see what's lingering over here in the shadows for our Pisces what may be lingering in the shadows for our Pisces what do they need to know your ancestors angel guides pisces please hit that like button 
please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Hit all so that you can be notified. Love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. Self-love is going to help bring in your soulmate. Okay? So continue to work on yourself. And continue to let the people that are not for you fall off. And if they don't fall off, you may need to cut them off. Okay? Can we get two more? Lingering in the shadows for our Pisces. What messages do they need to know? Spirit, ancestors, angel guides. Ascending. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rising above. Rising above the bullshit, baby. Transcending obstacles. Learning expansion, new phase, preparing for union. It feels like you're calling in your, your soul tribe. Calling in the people that are for you. The people that rock out with you. Okay? Till the wheels fall off, baby. Clock. Need time. Takes time. In time. Time to heal. Progress. It's a progress. It's... It's not going to happen overnight, okay? It's going to take time. It's taking time. It feels like it's taking time, okay? Um, going through the emotions and coming out on the other side. Self-indulgence. Focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Okay, my lovelies, self-appreciation. And what may be coming towards our Pisces? In romance, what may be coming toward them? What may they be expecting? For our Pisces, what do we have here? Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay, you. it feels like you're manifesting. It feels like um, you're starting to align with the people, places, and things. They are for you. Um, as soon as you get it together and wrap your head around uh, accepting what happened, what changed, what couldn't have been, or whatever bad karma you were facing. Can we get two more for our Pisces? Spirit ancestors, angel guys. Two more for our Pisces. Let me try one more time. Love yourself first, baby. Your self-respect makes you feel rom makes you more romantically attracted. Those are the feels. Can we get one more? Uh, give your relationship a chance. Was trying to fall out. Finances and career was trying to fall out. Let me look away. <laughs> uh, getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other. Your bond deepens. On the bottom, we have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, baby. Self-love, baby. Self-love. Let's give you a little rebel deck. Put some fire under that ass for our Pisces. And then I'll give you a message from each sign. Here we go, baby. For Pisces. A little advice for Pisces. Get some fucking sleep. Yeah, somebody has restless nights right here. Okay, your brain may go 100 miles per hour at night like it mine does. You are being an ass because you are fucking tired. Face to pillow now. I feel like you're being this way because people don't, uh, they don't appreciate you. That's what I feel. Can we get two more? Or didn't, uh, wasn't there for you when you needed them the most. Some good shit is about to happen. Don't let your issues fuck it up. So, if someone new comes into your life or if someone from your past comes into your life that, um, I think this person loves you and this person misses you, you may want to maybe just give them the opportunity to speak to you or to, um, come to you. Uh, don't be such a hard ass when it comes to a certain person. 
Not everybody deserves your attention, your time, your love, your... No, not everybody, baby. But someone does. Someone does. Time to let go. Move the fuck on. Okay, you can't stay in the stuck forever, Pisces. Okay, you need to... Come on, come on. It's not everyone else's fault, baby. It's yours. This is bad karma. It was something that you played a part of in your life that caused situations to be the way they they be they uh how they ended or how it became or whatever you had to face in your life. You play a part in your life, baby. Everything good and bad, you play a part. Whether you accepted these people into your life, whether you gave too much of yourself, whether there was like an ending that may never be coming back or something like that. Um acceptance baby acceptance is key uh it's not everyone else's fault it's yours you are a grown-ass adult stop blaming others for your shit and money 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 make it rain baby yes get to the bag you look like a shit show oh lord have mercy you're a hot mess fat clean yourself up i just meal Let's get it together, boo-boo. Take a shot. Don't take 12, take one. Okay, maybe two. Now move on. And then we have make better fucking choices. If you are pissed at where you are, then stop taking yourself there. Stop obsessing. You are not the fucking center of the universe. You are the best thing that ever happened to you, though. Go easy on your ass and buy your own damn drink. You do you. Stop trying to change people that shit never works, but be fucking grateful. Shit could be much worse. You are giving your power away. You are a badass. Act like it. You are going through some tough shit. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. Handle it. Ooh, Pisces. Handle it, baby. Handle it. And keep it pushing forward and up. Always, always, always with good intentions, baby. Making it happen, getting it done. Let's make it do what it do, Pisces. Let's make it do what it do. Here we go, here we go. Message from each zodiac for our Pisces, starting with Pisces. Message from Pisces for Pisces. I'm trying to distract myself from thinking of you. Cancer for Pisces. Cancer for Pisces. One message. My love for you will never change. Okay. Cancer. Scorpio for Pisces. Scorpio for Pisces. Can we get one clear message from Scorpio for Pisces? I need more time to reflect on myself. Air signs, Libra for Pisces. Libra for Pisces. Uh, I get triggered at the thought of you. Gemini for Pisces. Gemini for Pisces. One message from Gemini. Oh, we got two. Uh, I know I've let you down. And I'm sorry for breaking your trust. Aquarius. For Pisces. Message. Aquarius. For Pisces. Aquarius. I can feel your energy everywhere. Okay, earth sign, Capricorn, for Pisces, message, thank you, I don't feel I deserve you, Capricorn, Taurus, for Pisces, Taurus, Taurus, I love you more than I will ever let on, uh, Virgo, for Pisces, Virgo, for Pisces, can we get one, 
Virgo. I've been lying to myself for so long. Sagittarius. For Pisces. Sagittarius. For Pisces. One clear message, Sag. Ay, Dios mío, everything fell. The energy between us felt amazing. Leo. For Pisces. Leo. For Pisces. Leo. I'm still so confused about it all. And Aries. For Pisces. Aries. Aries, hit the dirt. Here we go. Hit the dirt. I wish I would have treated you better. I still have hope we can work this out. And on the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is, I'm running because I don't want to hurt you even more. Okay, lovelies. So, let's ask your questions to your angels. I'll give you three answers. You can ask one question. You can ask two questions. You can ask three questions. Okay, dokie. Okay, dokie. Here we go, babies. Here we go. Angel guides. Answering questions for our Pisces. What answers do we have for our Pisces today? Picking up on the energy of our Pisces. Here we go. Can we get three? Ready, ready, ready. We got one. Forgiveness, baby. Forgive yourself and others, even if it's just for yourself. Okay? Just because you forgive, don't mean you got to let them back in. Do it for you. Okay? Can we get two more for our Pisces? Remain positive. One more angel, guys, and not the right time. But something is definitely moving into divine timing. Okay, with that wheel of fortune, with the timing, with the clock. I think we had the clock. Oh, yeah, here we go right here. Okay, and on the bottom we have success. Success, baby. So work on you, baby. Work on you. Do it for you. You know, needing some soul searching, needing to remove yourself from people, places, and things that are not appreciating you, that no longer hold value into your life. We'll help you to align with what is for you and who will appreciate you, who will be there for you through uh, rough, trying times. Okay? Fortune cookie for our Pisces to take along with them on their soul's journey. Can we get three fortune cookies for our Pisces? Okay, difficult times. Be on your guard against chaos as unforeseen perils or emotional upheaval are foretold. The tower moment is inevitable, baby. Okay, accept it and move on from it. Friendship. A friend needs your help, your kindness, and excellent counseling skills will put them back on track. And we have commitment. A commitment is indicated around love or business. It will make your it will make you feel better. 
On the bottom, we have luck. A sudden change of luck is likely. Things are working in your favor. Excellent time for networking. Okay, babies. And that was your tea, baby. Smooches.